Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based uh, research channel and uh, basically I'm here to uh, tutor you, show you um, how you can start this research yourself but not so much today. This is uh, part two of um, Walking Man UFOs, um, Egyptian Sumerian head. Uh, if you haven't seen part one then uh, take a look at it um, and if you are interested in starting this research yourself then check out my earlier videos uh, any questions um, will be answered so um, it's very interesting and um, I think that the uh, the amount of stuff that I'm uncovering is not going unnoticed and um, so yeah, to other research channels, if you if you are benefiting from um, the stuff I'm showing, then uh, please do give us a shout out. Let's all let's stick together, guys, and uh, it would really help this channel um, produce the videos because um, I'm up against it with time and stuff. So anyway, without um, further ado, let's just do a quick uh, recap. Let's go to, let's chuck that on, some ambiance. Um, okay, this is, it's the, called the Nakluf, uh, where are we, the Nakluf Plateau. Um, that's a photo journal uh, image site. And uh, here's some information. Now, if you are new to all this, um, uh, I do suggest that you pause and just take the images in. It's um, they're difficult um, to understand when you're when you're beginning to do this sort of stuff. So I do suggest looking at the the earlier videos and it, and it takes you through uh, the, the process that I do and I do it live and it, it helps you understand more about what's going on in these images. So. Recapping, the reason I wanted to do this is because um, it's crazy. I have some issues with the scaling on these images. So in the description, this area here is 50 meters away. So bear all this in mind. Uh, look, you, can, you can see the rover here. Um, and this is five meters away and the area we're looking at I'm not going to do the full image we're just going to be looking at the walking man element and the rest of the uh, surrounding area because um, it's it's too confusing I'd end up doing like a four-hour video and here is where the little walking man is and the the crop of the area is about here so let's um, Let's go back and take a look at this. So this is the cropped area, but we will be looking at about this much of the image. It just helps me. It's, it gets so confusing. There's so much to look at. Um, and this is this is the walking man. I think it was originally featured by a uh, street cap one. And uh, yeah, the, there's so the, you know there's so much on YouTube and stuff, and I really do try and have a look at everything everyone's doing. And uh, people are missing a lot, <coughs> excuse me, of um, information. Um, noticeable with uh, people are starting to uh, realise this, um, which is good, but. Um, no, guys, give us a shout out. Sorry, it's difficult, you know. Anyway, let's. Um, so you can see uh, I've got a few layers. I've got the original. I've got the one I've been working on. Um, and let's. Why is that not open? That. Sorry, I haven't done anything for a while. Okay. 
there you can see the, the whole image and this straight away let's have a look at the uh, the walking man here he is so remember that scaling I was telling you about um, so this area just over to here was five meters away so I'm reckoning this is eight nine ten meters away sort of thing and if I remember rightly when this when this uh, dude was first featured he was said to be anything from six to a, f a foot in six inches to a foot in height okay right let's go back to here okay so I'm just gonna pull that out and then we'll get in so you can see that I've just done that so I don't get too confused now if you're familiar with this stuff and the process that I use um, things can look a lot different um, but it's just the nature of the the tools that are used and and, and the heart in the enhancements so let's okay so if I just go like this basically um, the whole image is not what it seems um, and there's been some recent discussion I mean I've spoken about it other people are speaking about it or realizing now I mean I have no conclusions because I'm not far enough into it um, and they're simply these features are what it seems like is that the the um, what they're actually showing us like this is a sandy rocky landscape um, I mentioned this area before um, hematite they might say that this is or it's been described in other images um, has a lava looking has a flow pattern um, or a melted pattern um, I'm not searching for ancient stuff or anything like that because there isn't really a lot I've found um, which it's difficult there are th there are various things out there which you know signify ancient civilizations and stuff and things like that but um, the the images in question I just don't think have been examined enough to uh, make conclusions like that and, it, and you know the more you say the more it confuses the uh, this subject so you know if you are new I try and keep it basic um, and it, it's it's to help you evaluate stuff um, especially if you're new to this um, and we do look at the stuff which does not look correct and is incorrect um, in this image in the in, in the images in general type sort of thing so right okay I'm trying not to uh, turn this into a encyclopedia video as usual um, it does take time there's so much to look at so rather than fading in and out I'm just going to be doing this so you can see the walking man um, and these are the stuff that I've uh, that I've pulled out. Um, uh, what you've got to realise, you know, it is we're we're uh, enhancing edited images, um, and as a whole, on these uh, surface photographs, uh, I, I truly believe now that uh, what we're looking at is really nothing like um what we're being presented with basically 
there's something going on. Um, there is a... Well, let's have a look. If I can get in here a little bit more. You can see these features. Um, now people talk about, you know, petroglyphs, hydroglyphs, um, is it hydroglyphs? Um, you know, rock carvings, various things like that. But the more I look at this, um, the more that these uh, these anomalies we see um, seem to be what the the surface actually is. This is this is something. Uh, I think it's way, way beyond uh, what uh, we can imagine. It, it's something we don't we don't know about, and um, you know the, the the discussions we have about this, and um, it's just our unknowing mind, you know, trying to put sense to something that you know I don't think we're able to understand at the moment. So you have to keep your thoughts um, wide open in 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 respect to uh, you know what it could be. Um, I'm believing it, it, it's something uh, we don't yet know about or don't understand, or us mere mortals don't anyway. So. Okay, let's let's just move through the image and uh, see what we can find. So, I spoke about this, uh, these false ridge lines, um, and it, it, this is obviously a cavity of, of some description, and it doesn't seem to have a back to it. And people could say, you know, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's just the way the shadow falls and stuff like that. But um, you can see with the small amounts of enhancement in there it's actually there's stuff in there and if I get closer you can see that these anomalistic shapes carry on into the sand so that just immediately tells me that th this sand is fake basically and I'll, I'll, in the next one, in the next video I do, I'll, I'll show you that. Um, there's a really good example of that. Um, and so you can see this as well. These are just not real, basically. I've been doing graphics and illustration for years and stuff, and... Um, I've said this before, you know, the, there was some work I was doing and uh, it was making, doing, actually doing this to make something look, you know, old and aged and things like that. And uh, it's very difficult, but um, I can spot it a mile off. <clears throat> I've said it before, have I? I've now got x-ray vision. So... Uh, very freaky so as always uh, pause and just take these images in I'm going to do some zooming in and out and stuff as well so I can't actually label anything um, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you are going to be seeing all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> Do excuse. But it's just the way our mind works. It has to uh, understand what it's looking at. So it, it will fill in the gaps. It's just a natural process your mind goes through. So you can see this here. Just does not look right at all and as far as, as far as we can get with this stuff well I can get with this stuff um, is that it's uh, 
mechanical looking. Um, it has design. It's got all the archaeological um, tick the boxes that people look for to to find. You know when they're when they're researching um, uh, settlements and things like that. Um, circles, things wrapping around each other, and uh, the more you look at this image, the more you'll you'll well you won't understand, but you'll see what is going on. And the whole image is like this. So it has a connecting look um, with a lot of things we look at, and regardless to what sort of scale. There's something I'm going to be doing with some scaling as well. I'm going to try and bring some of this to the foreground to um, uh, uh, compare the size differences and stuff. Just something you have to do to sort of uh, reassure yourself, you know, you're uh, not going mental. Oops, I'll do a few little zooms and stuff and things. Now we did talk about the makeup of the, the image, so, and it is made up of stripes. Um, I think we looked in the first one and and with these stripes you know how we talked about there being like a transparent layer with some patterns on it um, which break up um, uh, regular patterns that may be in the original photograph um, just to deter the eye and they can put it down to you know like a bad image and stuff but we know since the late 60s when they started um, sending the images from the moon that they had already in the late 60s I think developed software to get rid of striping and noise and things like that so to be presented with crappy images is uh, taking the out of us You can see more stuff appearing in here. Neat. Look at this area here. It's difficult point pointing stuff out because it's it it's uh, it's simply everywhere. You know, you could say man-made, but um, it looks made. Be it man, be it... I have no idea whatsoever. Try not to confuse. There's so many avenues you can go down. I'm sure you're all aware, all aware of this. Um... Which just leads to confusion. But it looks mechanical. It looks engineered. Sorry again about the uh, the jerkiness. It's just the program. It's uh, it's 
not very fluid. This is a thing about scaling as well. Um, if it is the case, which it seems to be, that this the, the surface is covered in this interconnected, joined, mechanical looking stuff. Um, and this is the actual surface we're looking at. And you see, they've done actually done a very bad job on this. I mean, you can see stuff everywhere. This is this this is the image we're presenting with. Obviously, I've blown this up. Um, you wouldn't be able to see this. It would be uh, pixelated. Um, so that is another thing you have to blow these images up just to condense the pixels so you can get some more information out but look at this I mean I've looked at um, I've looked at loads of uh, samples um, image samples of hematite and uh, it is a bizarre looking rock but um, they only describe that in the buttes images um, this is the whole surface we're looking at do excuse this So you can see the lines this stuff follows as well. So I'm imagining, obviously I haven't done all the, the enhancement on this, but I would say this sand is just not real. He's done a lot less here. But when I do this, you know, look for the, look to see what you can find in the original and then the enhancement. Things like this. It's bits and bobs of steel. I mean, the, the, my mind boggles when I look at this because it's everywhere. This is something you'll get used to. You can see the shadows, you can see the tops, the sides. It's crazy. I mean, if they're presenting us with images like this, and but I, like I say, I have enlarged it. Um, and you were uh, researching the images. What, what, what would you be not missing? You would have to question what is going on in these images. It's simple. Now this area is really strange. Very cleverly done. 
I'm sure they have their own software that does this and then I imagine people might have to go in with hand handwork um, afterwards take that area or take the whole area and just look at some of these oddities You know, and you might say, okay, this is the tools and stuff, you know, after I've been mucking around with it and things. But if we take a closer look. You may have to squint, you might have to go to the back of the room to look at this, but check how there's small features like this. this little things connected to little things and remember the scaling on this as well so this is just over five meters away from the camera plates of some description bits everywhere it's like you Imagine a, um, a natural vine growing on stuff. Um, it's a, a mechanical vine, um, but the other way around. It's not. We know the rocks are fake, and this is real. This is what is underneath. This is what they've covered up. So what is it? It's across the whole surface. If you're new to this, you're probably probably thinking that I'm seeing things. Um, and if you are interested enough, go and look at the other videos. They're all relevant. Um, this is not seeing things. Okay, let's go back up into here. I'll crop an area and I'll do an area of sand as well because uh, unfortunately um, working on these very plain areas it takes a lot of lot work and it can get very very messy so for the time being I'll try and present you with something which you can make a little bit more sense of okay so we've had a look at that haven't we So let's have a closer look at this. So 
as you can see from the original. Just check out these areas. Just keep your eye on one area. So you can see a lot of this stuff, either all over the place, it's like connected, that means it's structured. And like a vine, um, that would be um, connected, so it has purpose, sorry I've just got get rid of that mess I just made I'll do it another time don't worry about it so the walking man is something else slow down, getting confused now. You can still see it in the original. And see it's all it carries on it all carries on so if we're looking at the actual surface here what is it
It has design. It looks mechanical. That's the nearest label I can uh, I can actually put on it. Look at this. It's just the weirdest looking stuff. So please just pause and have a look at this. So remember, this sand is not real. And you can see that the detailing on these false ridges will carry on through to this. Okay. I think I'll leave it there. I can recap some of this in the next one when we have a look at the uh, UFO and the Sumerian or Egyptian head. And um, there's a really good example of um, uh, a false ridge line. It's like opposite to here. In fact, I'll show you quickly on this one. Uh, this where we'll be going over here to the Egyptian head. Looks like an Egyptian head. And the UFO. And this area here. We'll be looking at this area. The whole area. Pretty similar to what we've just looked at. Um, so you can see the extent. Um, it's just bewildering. bewildering. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and as usual, thank you very much for joining. And um, I hope you got something out of this. And I will see you soon. Cheers guys.